Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at issue 474 of the White Dwarf magazine. Here we go is issue 474, which is the March issue of White Dwarf. And this time we're getting a great cover. And these covers come when you subscribe and you can pay quarterly or for the full year and then you can get it for like five pound a month which is a great price especially if you know you're going to buy it each month and so here's the image today and a real great one loads of action going on so i think these covers are fantastic and then you can just see the white dwarf like embossed if i just get the light to reflect off it you can see the logo in the top left and then the white dwarf writing all the way along there so there we go. So that's really nice. But this issue is packed with extra features as well. So we've got a Skull Altar and Herdstone War Scroll for Age of Sigmar. So that's going to be for the Blades of Corn and Beasts of Chaos. It came with two posters. This one's quite cool. Reminded me a lot of the Ninja Turtles, just the way they've laid it out. I'm sure there's a picture that's similar to this of them and just the style it's done as well. So that's for Shooter's Blood and Teeth. So there's a poster, then there's a second poster, and this is for Total Warhammer 3. So there we go, some really nice posters included there. So this is a good one. I've not seen that before, that's pretty cool. And then on the back, this is double-sided, so you're going to get two options. I think this is my favourite. This one looks pretty nice. So I'll probably put this one up on the wall with the other posters, and definitely the Ninja Turtle Orcs, that's going up too. So we get those, and there's also loads of cards included in here for Warcry and Kill Team 2. So loads to look through, and I'll go through those as we flick through the magazine. So I've had a quick look already, because I really wanted to see what the Warcry info was going to be, and I think this could be my favourite issue of White Dwarf so far. There's loads going on in here, and there's some great pictures and paintings of Astra Militarum as well, which I'm really into at the moment. So let's get started. We'll flick right through it. I won't go into too much detail for each article, but I may pick some of them out and do some extra videos in the future. So here we go. So we get our little introduction from the managing editor there. And then as usual, all the pictures, uh, people send it in their models. And here, this is going to tell us what's included. So we've got the contents page. We've got lots on Kill Team. So this is really great. We've got those new rules for the Harlequins as well for Kill Team. So this is really good. And then we've got some Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar. Brilliant to see Warcry in here again. Getting lots of attention now with um, White Dwarf. So that's great. Underworlds is in there. Aeronautica Imperialis, Middle Earth and Black Library as well. So a nice selection across lots of different games this month. So I think this is really cool. Then, uh, oh, we've also got a bit more on Warhammer 40,000 there too. So we're seeing some of the paintings that have been sent in. So that's really cool. Some nice ones there. And then we've got Worlds of Warhammer. And this article is one I really need to read through because it's going to go through some of the background of Age of Sigmar and um, Warhammer 40,000. But it's going to focus on how to say things right. So I get this wrong all the time. I'm pronouncing names completely wrong. Um, so this is one I'm going to be studying for sure. And it looks like there's pages and pages of this. So that's really good. But this is one of my favourite parts of the issue. We've got a nice double page of a cool Astra Militarum army with all the tanks and troops. And that just looks awesome. But there's loads more of Astra Militarum to come in the magazine. Then we've got Flashpoint Nackmund. So lots to read through there. And then a big section on Astra Militarum, some colour schemes, loads of info talking about the regiments. And then this is a really nice piece, looking at those regiments and the colour schemes that go with them. So I'm planning to build a Katachan army and that's going to be after I finish my Gits 30 day challenge for the Gloomsight Gits. So as soon as I've done that, I'm going to jump straight in and start putting an army together for the Katachan jungle fighters. And hopefully around that time, we'll also get that start uh, not start collecting uh, the combat patrol box for the Tyranids because I really want to get that built too and then have them going up against the Katachan jungle fighters and also up against my space wolves so that's going to be really fun but look at all this we're getting loads of images if you're into Astra Militarum I think this issue is a must there's loads of great paint schemes some um, mods that they've done as well different people some great detailed images to use as reference for your own paint guides so I just think this is fantastic. A really great section this month. 
loads of different tanks to look at. So yeah, really good. And then here's the first set of cards. So we're going to get those for kill team. So they're really cool. You're going to get eight here. There's more as we go through as well. Looking at the Ogrins and Bull Grins there. And now we're on to kill team. So we've got an operation briefing. And this is all about critical operations, which they say here is the most tactically challenging of all the operations. And so that's going to go through how that works. Then we're on to Harlequins. So we get our introduction to them and how they fit in with Kill Team. So lots to read through. That's really great. And then we start going on to the rules. So as usual, we're going to get all those names and demeanor tables. We're going to get the information for putting together what they're calling the Boy Dancer Troop Kill Team. So it tells us about the operatives, tack ops. Great to see there's only eight here. So we're going to have eight, uh, eight fighters or operatives in the Kill Team for the Harlequins here. So that's nice. I like the smaller ones. Sometimes having 10, it's just so much to keep track of, especially when they're all very different. So the fewer, the better, I think. And then we've got abilities, our ploys, psychic powers. And then we've got our new rules for our data cards. So you can see here, there's only four. So again, nice and easy. I think these will be a lot quicker to learn than some of the ones that have 10 or 12. So that's good. Then you get the equipment. I'm definitely going to do a video on this. So I've been doing every one that they featured so far in White Dwarf. So I'll do the same for this so we can go through all of this in lots of detail and you can get a good idea of what's included then. So there we go. Then a nice paint guide as well. So they're starting to include these with each of these Kill Team articles too. But this is very thorough. So it's breaking it all down how to do this. And then we're on to Warhammer 40,000. Echoes from the Warp. And so this month, Duncan Wah, join a war, joins us to talk about the rule of seven. So there we go. So this is what that's going to contain. Some great images as well in this month. This one's fantastic. Look at that. That's a really cool colour, that blue. Looks great. We've got some more cards for Kill Team as well. So that's really good. And more of that nice army. I really like that colour. I haven't seen this kind of bluey look before for the Orcs, but I think it really works. So this is a nice gallery to look through. Some real close-ups. That's awesome. Really nice. So that's a really good section. Another gallery looking at some of these big models now from McFarlane Toys. So yeah, if you're into that, you can have a look. And then there's two more cards for Kill Team. But then we're getting some Warcry cards. So this is really nice. The abilities for the leaders of both the Iden and Thiepkin and the Fire Slayers, so that's a nice addition. And we also get this Sorcery Gauge here as well, but that's not for Kill Team. Sorry, Warcry, that's not for Warcry. So here we go, let's keep going. Now we're on to Flashpoint Clash. So Age of Sigmar now. Some brilliant images this month, really good. The Tome Celestial, so Blades of Corn now. You're gonna get some updates here. So that's really good. And don't forget you've got that card included for the skull altar there. And then all your new rules for Blades of Corn. So a nice update. And then, yeah, still loads going on. Lots to do for the campaign. And then rules of engagement next. So this is really packed. Now we're on to my second favourite part, which is Warcry Boiling Point. And so this is some new rules for Warcry. So I have to do another video on this too. I've got to do that separately because there's a lot to go through for this. Much like I did with the siege rules, I'll do the same for this one. So yeah, really great. We're going to get lots of extra info there for some new rules. Then we're on to Har uh, Warhammer Underworlds, Harrow Deep. And this is Glory Point and it's some new ways to play. So they're all always like updating these, it seems, recently, how to play it in different ways. Last month was good, putting lots of boards together and playing bigger games. Then we've got Aeronautica Imperialis. Some new rules for that too. Something I haven't played. And then we're on to Middle Earth. So these are normally nice. I really like the images. I like the little map they've done there. That's really cool for the battlefield. I like that. This is something I'm working on for Weekend Warriors at the moment, little maps and things. And I'll be doing a video on drawing maps real soon as well. So that's nice. Then Black Library. Just a small section this month, but good read there. There we go. And then we're on to inside the studio, Hobby Bingo. I keep meaning to do a video about Hobby Bingo to see what I've done so far this year and how much I'll tick off. 
So I'm sure I'll get round to that at some point. And then Hobby Spotlight. And then that brings us to the end of White Dwarf issue 474. It's a great issue this month. Really happy what they've included. It's just everything I'm into at the moment. War Cry and also Astra Militarum. I think it's brilliant. And to get some extra cards, these war scrolls, posters, that's the sort of thing you want from these magazines. It's really fun to get all these pullouts and freebies included. I think it makes it really fun to collect each month. But I hope this video has helped you, given you a good idea about what's included. And so hopefully now you can decide whether or not you want to add this to your collection. But let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. What's your favourite article from this month? I'd love to hear what you think. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>